Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Wool is the Answers, Woolly Ramblings from Lincolnshire. I'm Marie. I'm Dominic. From a very cold, wet and windy. <laughs> I was going to say, I do look like I'm wrapped up for winter. You do. I've got little red rosy cheeks as well. We haven't been in long, so I have been wrapped up for winter and we will... Yeah. I apologise if I keep sniffing and blowing my nose. No, I haven't got anything contagious. Just got a bit of a cold. Um, you can find us at the usual places. You can ream off where they come from this time. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Ravelry, YouTube, and our website, well, is the answer, .co.uk. .co.uk. We um, are there. Um, and that's it. Yes. Oh, I feel a bit bleh today, a bit deflated. It's been it a is, bit busy. It has been busy non-stop and it's suddenly, I'm looking outside, it's suddenly turned oh, it's awful. When, when the heck will this rain and wind stop? It's storm after storm. We've yeah. now got Jorge. Well, where's he gone? Where, where's he gone? What do you mean? We've had Storm Cara, Storm Dennis, it should be Storm Ellen. No, because it's... It, um, a foreign, I'm going to say Spanish or, I think it's Oh, Spanish. it's coming they, from a different direction. coming from a different direction, so they've named it Jorge. Well, that's ridiculous. So it's just coming in now to batter us again. Our yeah. poor little shed. Yeah. Our shed workshop is finished. Um, we might put some photos in this. because Yes. It's all done. All the electrics are done. It, we've got electric, done. we've got water, all the got work. Got a clean top. floor. We've got... A semi-sealed waterproof floor, and after this, we're going to get in it and put everything in. Yeah. So um, hopefully, we've, we've got a few things on the next couple of weeks, but we will be back dying soon, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. Got I was and bits yeah. and bobs to sort out. Yeah, we have. But e or e or or e or e or e or piglets. We need a pool because it's so convenient. I could get. An hour or two's dying. Yeah, we could do some in an evening. Work we, now? Or that's the beauty of having it so close now, isn't it? Well, I, I've just been for reflexology, which I try and get to once a month, and I've just been laid there thinking, oh, I could just do. Iris wants some parts. She wants three party popper and some colourway. Yeah. Um, Sarah from number four has just asked if Sarah's just knitted a pair of socks in they our party popper colour. They look amazing. They look really nice. So she's asked if she can have a couple. We've got some in the shop, but I'm hoping that when everyone sees them, they yeah. might go. So I was laid on the bed thinking... Not relaxing then? Well, I was relaxing, but thinking, they were really quite quick to do. I could get them done in an evening. Oh, look at you. So... Where's Dominique at? She's in the workshop. Honestly, like I was laid there thinking, I've got my radio... What more do you want? We've got lights. Got your waterproof trousers. Got more waterproof <laughs> trousers. Comedy boots. So, so we're not going to have a proper full day in there for a little while, but... We can be doing bits and bobs. Even if we have to Eat get all. there individually, we'll get bits done. We will get bits done. So, yeah, if you've been following us on social media, you'll see, well, we have posted regular updates, but once we get in, properly moved in... Yeah, we'll show you a picture. We'll do a little post yeah. from there. Well, while we're sat here in our... Scarves. Yes. This is my stash buster pop of colour. That's wrong way around. By um yarn addict. I mean it Anakin. is it's huge. It is so big. But it's be I'm so chuffed with it. And I, I think I've fallen a little bit in love with lace. Well, look, I just through the lace you can see the dress you can see it's so how, drapey. Yeah. I mean this really is and I'm really loose for you. Because you said you thought it had taken up like a lot. Well, I'm, yeah. I weighed it 170 grams I've used. Yeah, so but that is... It's uh, huge! It is enormous. But, but look, not too look how Look how see-through it is. I know. And it is so light. And for me, that's fairly well blocked. Because as we all know, my blocking techniques... Well, it should have gone longer. Why didn't it go longer? Because that didn't have enough room on the table. So... Anyway, yeah, it is. I'm chuffed to bits with it. It was a lovely pattern to knit. Yeah, it looks. And it I could wrap it round about fifty-five thousand times. But look at that. Yeah, it but doesn't does it feel it, too heavy. It's oh. lovely. It feels nice and drapey. Yeah. So I'm snuggled up. You look yeah. nice in that one. That's well, this 
I am ashamed to say, I have shown this on the podcast. So I did finish this since we've been podcasting, but I know it was last summer. And I'm ashamed to say I've not worn it because I've not turned the ends in. <gasps> it just kept getting put to one side. Of the well, that's so the other day, like I'm not joking, there were three. Is that all there was? So uh, I Three? Did... And you couldn't be bothered to sew three in? And then when I put it on today... You found another one. Oh, look. I found them, which is obviously where... <sighs> there, was a, there was a problem with the wool. Like it had... They'd just cut it and they'd just joined it, but not in this oh, right, colour right colour. So I'd turn the two ends in. But I, I've been out today and I've worn it. But I love that. I love this pattern. And it's that's really the nice. fallen leaves. To the point where I'm thinking, I want to cast another one on. I really like that. I mean, it is a, a long... Have you blocked it? No. No. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. But only lightly. Yeah. It's really nice, that. Is it double knit? Yeah. Really nice. We bought this when we went down to... God, excuse me. I've got a, a spasmy thing in my head, and it keeps keeps twitching, and it's really annoying me. Either last March or last June. Last March. I bought it when we went away for your birthday, and we stopped at Evesham. And we stopped at that little... Heck, yeah. So, and I cast it on when we were away, and then I had to stop because... I couldn't even do that because there was a bit of lace and cable. That looks really nice. So Look I probably finished it last summer. Mm. I thought, yeah, I thought you. Oh, I have finished it, but I just it just kept being in the pile and I couldn't bother to do it. And it's then I done. kept thinking, but I love it. So I'm going to take it off now because it's warm. But that's the fallen leaves. Very nice. It suits you. Sure. I love it, and I've still got my man to miss. And I put that on today, thinking, I love this. I'm going to make another one of them. Flipping when I don't know. When we don't know. So we were just trying to remember what we'd shown you last time. Yeah. It's like these. I think you might have seen them on social media. I made them. You do the front and I'll do you the do back. You do the front and I'll do the back. That's whatever. It's got a little button on. So I literally knitted it in the round and then kitchened the bottom. And guess what they are? They're a business card holder. Oh, they're cute. I mean, these are... It's because we keep being asked for our business cards and we both look at each other and go, well, I've got any. Oh, I have got any. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make us both a little... So guess what colourway Marie did hers in? Coral bean. And I she did one mine in peacock. peacock. So did it in double knit? Well, I thought they were quite cute. That, they are they really... Like, nice little gifts, wouldn't they? That I'm with a... We should get some of these Handmade little... Handmade by... Do you know what? We should get some of these little... Well, little, I was just thinking... With like either wool is the answer on yes. or handmade or... Yes. And then they could go on those hat kits that we're going to be doing that we will talk about later. Or the kits... Or the other or kits. The retreat or... Or kits which for the we'll retreat, speak which about we'll later. definitely talk about later. Or not even kits, but you know, like yeah, your table. But they are... You got the idea from... Becky, Becky didn't you? yeah, Becky, um, one of our knitting nutter ladies. She, um, she does a lot of knitting and sewing, and um, we were talking about business cards, and she showed me hers, and hers was a fabric one. I thought, ooh, I could knit some, so I did. There you go. But, but that could, you could make that slightly big when it could be for your mobile phone. Exactly. Could be for anything. Could be for or your credit cards. Anything. So, um, what else have you been knitting on then? Now that's finished. Well. You'll be pleased to know, Cass, oh, of yes. Wednesday Day Long Wool. I've got a bag. Look, she's still in a Christmas. I'm still in Christmas. Quite rightly. I've got a <gasps> bag. Oh, my God. So, I've got the back done. My God. You, you must I, have been knitting on this non-stop. That was when I was in Birmingham. <gasps> and not only of that, I've started to sleeve. Oh, are you doing them one at a time? Well, I know. I never thought of that. I could have done two at a time. Well, why don't you just cast on the next one, get it to there, and then... No, because it'll seem like an awful lot of stitches. I'm yeah, not, I know, but I'm not loving moss stitch. Welcome to my world. It will look beautiful. I mean, that is stunning. So that is the back The colour, that that does not... doesn't do it justice, because no, it's it a doesn't. really nice colour. So the back's done. Where's your ball? 
I think we did show it last time, but it's yeah. just... It's really... So that's I am, a bit of a better colour. I am it's a beautiful getting on with it. I'd pink. like to think I had it finished by Buxton. <gasps> that's my aim. I mean, Kath has sent you the challenge. She has sent me the challenge, bless her. I, I think she now feels a bit guilty that you're Don't feel guilty. pushing yourself. I need, but I need it to try and get it done. But, um, that, I mean, I saw it last week and you'd only got... I've been away in Birmingham to visit my daughter, to visit Grace, yeah. and um, I was sat doing a bit there. I've been determined to sat and to sat and do it. To sat and do it. To sat and do it. To sit and do it. Oh, nice. I, I couldn't stop laughing. Have you seen the comments from last time? Last last. Uh, yes. Where you were doing mechanicalized. Your... <laughs> Honestly, I even it's mechanized. I it's know mechanized. it's mechanized. She knows what it is. I and just couldn't. Think. Even I was sat watching it. That was Stuart, wasn't I it? I couldn't stop laughing. Well, so, when I saw Stuart's comment and he said, oh, 52 minutes or something, yeah. I'm in laughing on in stitches. I was thinking, what were we talking about? So I had to then go forward. It was you oh, having a wordy moment. Me. It was hilarious. And the today we've had a yard. Oh, oh, quite as funny, but that was very amusing. But that is, I can see you've not got yours, Look, but that's a what's very... What's going on here? Well, I'm not even looking. Look, I've got like a weird, tough bit of hair. It's a storm. God, I'm I look all right. I don't know what I look like this morning. I look like I've just... I don't know. I was going to say that's a very good segue because when I couldn't say mechanised, mechanised, it was because we were at Emma Bridgewater. Do you know what? Just don't say it ever no, again. No, I know. When they weren't using machines to make things. Yes. It was because we were at Emma Bridgewater. Yes. And what were we waiting for? We were waiting for our mugs to come. And no. Oh, oh you've not. It was I like, haven't brought them. I'm not organised. And you Dominique, did mugs. I did little mugs and Dominique did <gasps> a plate is it gorgeous i love look it. at that little strawberries wellies and watering cans and then on the back strawberries over and then i did try and write something but it does look like a three-year-old's written that it's really nice but i'm really really pl i've not used it yet because i wanted to show it oh, i never thought You'll to bring to... my mugs it I'll wasn't show you next until time. i got home and i suddenly thought i bet i bet you've not not brought yours but we were we told you all about our trip, so it was absolutely... It was. It was very good. I loved it. Yeah, we had a really nice time. It was very, very good, yeah. Um, knitting, so scarf, shawl, whatever the heck they call them. So I then decided... I'm going to show you that. Show you this. To keep me pattern it, but I bought it because I really want one from the knitting gift shop. Right. But they haven't got any, you know, that keeps your pattern in... In the together, it's a bit flimsy. This one that looks really flimsy. The one from the knitting gift shop is a wooden one, yes. And I thought, oh, it's my coming up. I'll order one for some money, but of course, they're in the show, aren't they? Oh, so they like take the stuff offline, yeah. Well, why don't you just tell somebody else that could buy it for your birthday? Well, whatever. So, I have been knitting the adventuresome wrap. To go with your brown coat. To go with your brown coat. I haven't done much because I've been working on the thin cap. And I've decided to add in a bit of mustard. Oh, it changes. It's yeah. It goes at a slant. It goes it well. It, it in as much as they're not straight edges. No. So pull it. There. There. I'm really. I've got a squeaky chair. We both are. I'm really enjoying it, but I thought it needed a they bit more colouring, so I've put some beautiful mustard in. colours. So I'm using the natural Donny Gall, I showed you this last time. The natural yak. That yak is. And then a, a silk that we dyed ages ago, but then I thought it just needed a pop, and I found that in my sock. A little bit of the. I'm not going to put too much of it in, but it just needed lifting with that, that bit of yak. Colour. It's coming up lovely, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really don't... That's not my cup of tea at all. But I've got oh. to be honest. Looks nice, doesn't it? Especially I'm, with that pop of mustard. I'm not in a rush to get this finished, so this is going to be so something you've got I'm just going to sit and... Do. So silk, it's, yak and Donegal. Yeah, a bit of everything in there. And of course, Merino. And a true stash buster. Yep. So I'm using that and, oh, I was so relieved. We went to um, Knit and Natter at Yarnia, which is um, Knitterish Designs. Yes. I've been hunting for these for ages. And I'd left them at houses. I'd never, and I hadn't been for a while. No. And I completely, when we walked in, they were there. I was so relieved. So then my kitchen is stitched and my um, 
make one right and make one left from yarn history. I hunted oh, high and low for them. what else you've got on there. And your... Oh, and my thing for my cables. I have one of those on everything. Well, I've them on the end of bags. To tie to just in case. When you've got you interchangeables. Yeah. So I normally have them on... I hang them on the edge of the, the zips usually as well. I haven't oh. got one on there. So I have them all around. That's a handy tip. No, but you... Oh, was that bell on there? Yeah, that was that bell was on there. That's a stitch marker bell. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Oh, God, my head. I keep getting... It's like having an electric shock in your head. So, I need putting it in a bag and shaking. You're not very good at showing oh, people, I'm not with you today. Crap. Sorry, not with it today. So, look at that. Yes, so it's that so it, pattern. It will be, it's like that geometry show I've think, done. It will be straight edges, but it's, it's just amber, on a... Amber and brilliant. Yeah. And um, I think she originally did it to go with an advent calendar, hence why it's called Advent yes. Wrap. So you yes. were using different um, mini. Yes. But it's a really nice pattern. It was designed with a yarn advent calendar in mind to make the most there of daily go. mini skeins. I remembered something today. Yeah, but... I mean, that is, a, if that was an advent calendar, that is being done specifically yeah. for that, hasn't That's, it? It's, because it's like a complete it's, fade, isn't Yeah, it? it is. That's going to be massive as well. Yeah. Put it in there, but that, I, that'll be one that just gets, comes out whenever I'm, yeah, I'm not in a rush to do that. Yes. Um, should I keep going? Because I have a feeling I might just go down the hall okay. all of a sudden and like not be able to speak. So. The cowl and the hat. Oh, flipping it. This is no good. Um, so You need a bigger bag. I need a bigger bag. So we've already shown the cowl, which I'm still making adjustments to. Not many, but just making a few adjustments. So that's the cowl. Then this is the hat. Again, it needs a few adjustments because I did it one way. Then I had to pull the rib off because I ran out of pink. So, like we've said, not twins. Brother siblings. and sister. So, because I'd had to pull the... I'd already knit it from the rib up, ran out of pink, and I wanted to make sure I was trying to do it with four minis so that the price is good. Yeah. So I then had to cut the rib off and use the pink, so then I had to do it down. But then I've cast off really weirdly, and I've made it a wrong shape. So... Just the rib. Just but the rib. It's, yeah. The pattern. Because there. I was making the biggest size, and I need a different... Um, and I just need to do a different decreasing as well. But it's a huge hat. Yeah, it is quite big. That's the largest size. It's big on Dominique, so I mean, let's just see on little old head. It here. is. I mean, I could just sit like this all day. But in fact, I could just pretend to be the Invisible Man because this is how the Invisible Man used to do it, isn't it? So maybe it would be much better if I just continued like this all day. Oh so as we can God. see, it is. But that is the that so, is the large size. You, you need to know that. So I need to know that I've the got pattern a, has got wool for the yeah. largest size. I think I knew what I was doing, wouldn't you? So, me and my friend here, we were deciding on what other colours because we're going to bring it to the shows, aren't we? Yes. So I then thought, right, well, I'll knit the hat again. So I've that looks really done it with nice. The turquoise mini. That is, I really like that. Yeah. So look at the difference. You know who we're talking about. Yes. So I've got my rib back on. Yeah. So I'm just um, doing the large size again. And then what I'll do is I'll pull this down and I'll make this the medium size. Yeah. And then the next one I do, it'll be the small. So when you come to the show, you'll be able It'll to be see all, all three. Yeah. Clever, I know. That, so I mean, are you George... liking that? You see, I don't like it. Don't you? No, but that's because it's turquoise. That, I, I don't really hate, like... It's just not my colours at all. I was knitting it and thinking... Really don't like this. Dominique will love it. Uh, yeah, because it's quite a bright. In fact, I would say it's like a brighter colour than that. Like it's. I'm not turquoise at no. all. No, I thought you'd like that. I prefer that to the navy because we'd yes. consider doing it the navy. Because we're going to do this in a green. We're doing one in a in a greeny colour. Yeah. So that's what I've been cracking on with. So you'll have three colours to look at, but you can do it in whatever you like. And the three different sized hats. So hopefully yeah. we're going to have those as a kit, aren't we? Yes. Because somebody who's not a million miles away from yes. me. Um, so I'll be doing a bit of pattern designing and Dominique will be professional tech editor <gasps> to the stars. It's finished. I've finished the course. I'd had such a gap. I did have to go back and look at 
where I was and what I was doing. But last Sunday, when David was finishing the workshop, yep. I just sat here and just, other than a trip to B&Q, sat and cracked on and got it finished. And then this week, I've got one of our patterns. Yeah. Tech edited that. So that is now... That's what I'm going to start doing, just practising. We've, we've got all of our patterns that yep. Marie's written, uh, all wool is the answer patterns, um, to practise and get tech editing. So, and then I'm just going to start, well, I don't really know where I'm going to get customers from. Well, but people, if you want anybody to start tech editing any of your patterns, email us. Beginners. Email? Yeah. Oh, God. Email us at lulu at well, is the answer dot co dot uk yeah and but i do want to do beginner type patterns shawl scarves i'm not ready for garments yet but i just think because i am not an experienced knitter i think i can bring something to beginner patterns as well yeah so that's where i'm gonna aim for first but i've got hours to do first so. perfect um busy 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 yes so no well i am still a tech editor in training but i mean this is just advanced old. tech editor in training maybe now oh yeah i mean just i just use all my pretty pens look at that pretty pens to do all sorts of things i mean at the end of the course you have to it's all maths I mean, it is, but then at the end it was all about social media and identifying your strengths and identifying your client base. And You'd have been impressed at me the other day when I was working out my decreases on my hat, I had to do proper maths. I actually did it right. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's why my head hurts. Well, maths is good. Maths is there maths for a is reason. Good. I just, it, it's not that I can't do it, I just don't like it. That's the difference. Yeah. I find no enjoyment in maths whatsoever. Yeah. Not in the slightest. Even when it's for something that is going to help? No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. No. Pretty pictures, drawing. If I was drawing it and it was on, like, checkered paper, I'd be happier. I'm more of a visual person than, yeah. A, than a... Yeah, I don't like maths. Yeah. Well, it's not all maths, but it is... There is some maths in there, so I've enjoyed it. But on another note, things I do enjoy... I'm just look, what is the It's a pencil. Oh. It's a mechanical pencil. What is it, Dominique? It's a mechanical. I can say mechanical. I can say mechanic. Just mechanised. Mechanised, I struggle with. <laughs> but that just caught my eye. So look. Only, only, only. It's one of them special. Oh, it's not a real pencil then, is it? Well, I mean. That oh, you thought real... it needed it sharp. Oh, I love a sharp. <gasps> I love a pencil you can sharpen no, as well. No, these are nice. I think these were a pound from... I thought they were Somewhere. from, I thought you'd got them on your holidays or something. Oh, no, because they've got ice on. Yeah. Don't ask me where I got them from. And it looked like a Spanish word. But things like this make me happy. I mean, these, I've enjoyed these as well. Um, so, because we've said before, we both dye our own sort of things. So, now that we've got our own workspace and our own sides of workspace. Yes. Where we're allowed to meet in the middle where the um, ovens are. Yeah. But apart from that. I think there's going to be a dividing line. Well, you know, you're on my side. Get out. Look. There's my party popper <gasps> recipe. Look, and there's... Look, we've got pictures and things. Oh, I mean, show one of your... Where's your coral reef? Because that's a good picture. Well... Well, kind of. I sort of, like, draw pictures like that with coloured pens, just so I know how I'm doing it. Whereas I just draw... A... I have lots of pictures... Be for bunting. So, things. so these are. We've ours. had. We've just had one big box with them all in. Whereas now, because we can't dye each other's. No. We said right. Well, let's have our own. So, so we've got our own little boxes. I'm quite looking forward to having like my workspace. How I want my workspace. Well, we, but we can do, can't yeah. we? Because I think we're both thinking. There's lots of things we'll do the same, but there are some things. But we were laughing because we've been looking at different ways to store the dyes because I'm just getting a mess with it. As we know, I'm a messy person. Um, and I'm always moaning about, like, they have, some of them have got flip-top lids. So because I have big gloves on, I, like, do that and then it seems to go everywhere. Jam jars, I seem to get it everywhere. Uh, whatever happens, I get it everywhere. Dominique sent me this message. I'll let you explain. 
Well, you yeah, find the picture and yeah. I'll say, um, why don't we put them in screwed, this is, this is the first one, screw top jam jars, I've already explained, that's not going to work, and then screw the lids onto a piece of wood and then we can just unscrew them and get the die out. Can you imagine? I'd be unscrewing it, wouldn't I? I'd be covered in dye. I'd look like I'd done one of those flipping colour runs, wouldn't I? So that was a bit of a... I don't think that's going to happen. No. Well, On your side of the shed? Yes, mine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I need something like childproof. Dominique's come up with a childproof solution. I'll keep talking. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find... So, we sent... Oh, oh here we go. Got... Oh, I... It's because we keep sending some on WhatsApp and some. So this was the original. Oh, we've done this before. I've got to turn it down. How oh, do I turn the turn the brightness down? Right now, um, so you need to go to settings. Oh my god! To turn the brightness down on your telephone, go on to settings and brightness. Go on to display and brightness. Click. Oh, no wonder you can't see anything. Oh, is it up? Is <gasps> and that uses all your battery. Use it to there. Right, go back to where right. it is. Technical lesson over. Teach your voice down. That's better. They, I mean, look at that. How easy is Yeah, that's not going to happen th that's for That's for, like, screws in a workshop, but that's, that would be no, perfect. Marie would be screwing it. Oh, I've dropped it. All the dye will go everywhere. So this was the message I got back. That's what it would look like. It would. I'd just be covered in dye, and then everything would be dyed that colour. That would be our signature range, then, of everything is now going to have to have green in it or purple. So look, look. at this. Genius. So, oh, either Saturday or Sunday last week, when David's been here, he's obviously had to be in the house hooking up the electric and the water. So, he's had all my kitchen drawers out to get to the electric. So, they were all over everywhere. So, I thought, well, now's an ideal opportunity to clean your kitchen drawers out. So, I think that rosemary, I mean, I know things don't go out of date that much, but that was 2011. Yeah, I think it's probably... So, me. nine years. I thought, well, if I've not used it in nine years... Um, so, I thought, what a good idea. Yeah. So, that's what we're going to put the dyes in, I think. Well, that's what you're going to put the dyes That's in. what I'm going to put the dyes in. My concern is... Oh, I've sourced some from... And guess where I've no, sourced them from? but how are you going to... Well, you'll have to... Because we wait. Don't matter. Yeah. So, you can just... But... Yeah. So, I then thought, right, what do I need... So I've been onto a children's supply centre. That's what I need, isn't yeah. it? For children who are making glitter things and, you know, where you don't need them to make too much mess. Yes. So I think that's perfect for me because they've got big nozzle holes so I can be wearing out my dye. Yeah. If I want to do some sprinkles, I can do a bit of a sprinkle. I mean, it's going to be revolutionary. It is. I just don't see how that's any different to the tubs we use now. Because when I because when I lift the tub up, it's all there, isn't it? It's like all waiting to jump out at me. Well, when it's contained, it can only come out the little holes. But you've got to get it from the container into that little container. I'm not doing that. You're doing that. No, I can do that. But it'll have to be in like a sterile room alone without any sneezing or anything. Yeah. It'll work. I'll do it'll it. Be, it'll be fine. all these kind of things, we can have... I mean, we... There's, there are just some colours that you're always, we're both using the same thing. So you're like, have you got the what? Yeah. You know, have you got the magenta? Have you got the so this? It's nice that we can have our own, yeah. we'll like split everything up and have it so it's easy. We, to we use. don't delay a lot, but sometimes you're just waiting for things. So now. And that's why it's nice to have our own sinks, isn't it? Because we're normally yes. waiting for water. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We've both got our sinks. One is just incredibly high level and one is normal level. Yeah. But it is it is good. So. Um, let me show you a couple of shawls that have come back from the test knitters, <gasps> which are fabulous. These so are... this has been knitted by Lynn. And I've got another one at home, but I forgot to bring it because I'm at Dominique's today. This is... So this is Brandy Snap and Orange Tulips, yeah. and it is Spring Thought Pattern. I mean, how beautiful is that? Is just... I mean, I'm not an orange person, but I've got to say I quite And like when we... When we did Brandy Snap yeah. in the advent calendar, didn't like neither it. of us particularly liked it, and it has grown on us yeah. so much. It looks really pretty. So that's your orange tulips, and that is your Brandy Snap on Sparkle. And then that's but the then together. It just changes it. It's beautiful. Looks really, really nice. So thank you, it is, Lynn, for that. That it, was amazing. Yeah. So there will be... I mean, Brandy Snap and Orange Tulips is in the show now. Uh, in the show. In the shop now. Spring Thought pattern is there. But I'm not sure if this patterns are there because oh, we just, yeah, we just need to get. But they will be there. They're available from Knitterish at the minute. Yeah, they are. 
Um, and then, but then we'll be at the show. Yes, they'll all be at the show. If you don't want to wait for the show, they're, they're in. And then these need blocking. We haven't blocked no, them yet. Blocked and this is yet. Um, Linda, who's done quite a lot for us. Oh, um, this is, is um, three, three stock five. five. Um, I really like this pattern, and she's done that in the Flamingo Forest and Silver, and it looks amazing. I really like that. Flamingo Forest and Silver? No, Flamingo and and Silver. She's done it for us, not Forest. She's done it for us, E.O. She's done it for us in Silver and Flamingo. And, Flamingo. and again, that's on Sparkle. Yeah. And then Flamingo's that, been really popular when that's as well. Blocked, it looks amazing. Yeah, it does. It looks tiny at the minute, but it becomes a really nice yeah, big show. Yeah, it really does. So these will all be um, at the show. So we've got, some of them have been, we've got obviously made up for the shows last year. Some of the colourways we're not doing anymore. And we just wanted to freshen them up. And yeah. we've got so many new colourways. So, and we've got new patterns as well coming up at the shows yeah. as well that we've already talked about. And we've always tried to have something knit up in all of the colourways. So yeah. when people come and say, what does Peacock look like knit up? Well, that's what it looks like. It looks like that. Or, yeah. Exactly. Um, so thank you very much, ladies. So um, what, what have you been knitting? Well, let's go in my stash oh, busting big, bag. In the big bag. So don't forget, everybody, on Ravelry, we've got our stash busting 2020. Um group there's been so i mean you've been looking as well yeah but you have been doing more of that thank you so, i mean honestly some of the things that people have beautiful oh, honestly st stash busting you can you can do all sorts yeah that is a this is a stash buster, stash buster. that quite a few things i've been doing a bit of stash busting. so i was thinking i think we've had 74 75 comments wow so maybe next podcast or the one after We'll do a prize giveaway. Ooh, we did that. say we would do a giveaway, yeah. so well, we could do um, one sort of intervaled one, couldn't we? Yeah, because um, it's going to run for the whole year. So this is I've just been working on my stash buster, Again, which it's is beautiful. my corner to corner. Nice. So there's my little progress keeper. Ah, so I see that's how much I've done. Well done. But actually, it's getting quite big now. It's getting big. Again, I think it'd make a lovely shawl. I mean, it would. It is heavy. It is heavy, but can you imagine that? Night? Oh, it is heavy, actually. It, it, it is. I mean... That is really warm. It, it, it's going to make gonna a be beautiful nice. blanket. So, I mean, look how small the ball's gone now. Good Lord. So, I've knit... No, I'm to have crocheted um, 35 grams of wow. this in the last fortnight because it was at 134, I think, and I was determined to get it under 100 grams. So, I'm now down to 100 well grams. Just, yeah, it is. I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing it. I've, I don't feel like I've done a lot, but actually, when I put my progress keeper on, you I think it's because, like you say, you're getting longer and longer. Aren't yeah, you? and sometimes it's like, oh, it just keeps going. But so that's one, and I, f I don't think I've shared the progress in the Ravelry group, so I will do. Um, and then I've only been, I've only been working on two things, but they are growing. And then oh, this, I can't believe how much you've, this has come on. This is my mild mania. Now, that is beautiful. This is I mean, you haven't made be... it look like a bag. Well, that's because it is a bag at the minute, because it's got four balls of wool in it. I can't believe how quick you've got on with this. You're putting me to shame with me, jumper. So, I am doing... <gasps> look at the colours. I'm doing the... That, that Let side. me just... Just take the wool out. Yeah, but the trouble is it's all attached. Because I'm doing the sleeves at the same time, you obviously end up having Just all your Not wool. like you're challenging yourself, are you? Yeah, but... That is it's beautiful. Growing. That is really, really nice. I love the colours. So, but this is also a stash buster. Because... That is really nice. Uh, it is a stash buster. The main blue I've bought... I love it. And the grey... So this is bought... But everything else, the I am using are from our stash. Really nice, Dominique. I mean, even we'd got a, a mini skein of neon yeah. that had somehow got bright pink all over I it. I can't get over how much it's knocked the neon back. So I thought, mm, I wasn't going to put it in. I thought, do you know what? It's lovely. 
Oh, well, you can't sell it. You can't see it when it's knocked back. That's amazing. But this is knit inside out. So this... What do you mean it's knit inside out? You purl it. No. So you do knit. So that is your right side. Yeah. But it's not. It's the wrong side of your jumper, so you should wear the jumper. No. This way round. No, no, no. With the, oh, the, with the reverse stockinette. Oh, no. I like it the other way around. Well, I think I prefer it the other way around. I'm going to wait till... I'm going to wait till I finish, but... so Yeah, no, I like it the other way around. I prefer it the other way around, I think. But you knit it inside out. Oh, I like and it then the other you, way. So the normal stockinette yeah. is... I mean, I really... I'd like it that way. I've put this inside out. But maybe just because you get so and... used to seeing it, don't you? Well, yeah. But it's... I, I found it's really... What the... She's got in a bit of a tangle. I've just got in a bit of a tangle. Um, I like it. But what I find is, like, the neon, to me, it looks really bright there. And then it doesn't Not on the other side. Bright. Yeah, it's clever. Pink looks bright there. Not there. Not as, so it's obviously as it's mild. Yeah, it's really pretty. But. I like it. Where is it? That's where I was. I mean, I, There's my stitch marker. Look done, what I've done in a fortnight. You've done loads. Absolutely blooming loads. I can't believe I've got that much done sleeping. in a fortnight. You've been yeah, knitting in your sleep. I also, if you ask me, I don't think I've been knitting that much, but I obviously. My knitting is getting faster. Obviously. But I mean. And That's I've, really nice. And I've tried it on and it, it fits. fits. Perfect. So, you know, you were saying about doing maths. When I when I split for the sleeves, it's this is a unisex jumper. So you've got the same number of stitches at the front as you do at the back. Well, I've got boobs. So really? Have you? So I thought, well, this is not gonna work. So I've just I had to do a bit of so I've got more stitches at the front than I have at the back. As it should be. I, I mean, it should be any... But when you look at most jumpers, when you split for the seat, they always just do it. Yeah. Half and half. Yeah. But it shouldn't be, should it? No. I'm with you. So... Get your busted in. Well, I was even going to put bus darts in it. But, I'm not a fan of darts in jumpers. Well, I'm not, but it makes them fit better. Otherwise, it is either yeah. really... I mean, stretched across your I mean, bust. Not darts, but like taking it in down the sides, yeah. But I'm not keen on darts knitted in. Have you done them? No, I haven't because... You could just... You could just I'd gone past. Again. So all I've actually done is added more stitches and then if I need to, I'll just decrease, decrease and do some... Just on the sides. That's what I've done on mine. You know, the flat, uh, those tin can knit ones. Yes. That's what I've done. I've like given myself more on the bust area and then yeah. I've just tapered it in. yeah. But I think it gives a cleaner line. It does, but sometimes you just need... I've seen them where you just do short rows, so yeah, there's no darts. Yeah. But anyway, so, so that's just, what I've been working tech on. You're tech editing knowledge, aren't you? Well, that just... wasn't tech editing. I was just... I want to be honest, I just YouTubed it, but I am. Nice. I mean, some of, some of the colours in here I really don't like by themselves, but when I put them all together... So... Oh, now I've got balls and nice. all everywhere... Shall we? There will um, be. I was just going to say, there's going to be more magenta because that's. I've still got that left from. Oh, that was your shawl. My wasn't it? three colour yeah. cashmere shawl. Well, it's still stash busting. So Perfect. I'm just going to put another few stripes of that in. So that has been. That's all I've knit on, but I do seem to have. Well, worked on. I do seem to have added quite a chunk to both. Shall so, we talk retreat? Let's talk retreat. Thank you, everybody, who's booked to come on the treat. Yes. We are really excited to welcome you. Can't wait for it. Um, we've sold all of the ground floor yes. single occupancy double rooms. Yes, we have. Oh, got that in right. Yeah. However, there are on the ground floor, there are still um, family rooms, which are triple rooms, yes. aren't they? Yeah. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about the pricing system. Um, so when you go online and you would see a single occupancy double room, it's £605. So that's your full price for everything. But at the minute, obviously, you're paying your 50% deposit. When you look at the triple occupancy rooms, um, for a triple occupancy, it brings the price down per person to £500. Pounds. Yes. Um, so the room, you need to find another two people to book it with 
we're doing it like that so that you're not coming on your own and then sharing a room with people you don't know. Yes. So that's why the price is higher on the triple rooms um, because you've got to book it with three people all in all in one yes. go. So they're the rooms that we've got left on the ground floor. Apart from there are some more um, single occupancy double rooms, but to get to the rooms, it's they're on the ground floor, but you do have to go up a couple of steps and then more down than a couple. Was it three or four? Five? No, it was like... I, I thought they said she just said a couple of steps. No. Anyway, we'll find that out. Yeah. So you either have to go up a few steps like and then... Like 12. Was it? Yeah. I thought that was to go up to the first floor. Oh, I think it is up to the first floor and down the other side. How bizarre. Anyway, it's you go just up, obviously the way it is. You but... go up some stairs and then come down some stairs. Or you can actually gain entrance to your room from the outside. Um, so... If you are interested in those rooms, um, we're going to put them on the website yes. and explain them Explain them as ground floor rooms with steps included. But if there's any issues before you want to bar, um, want to book that room, then just email us yeah. and we can get um, the extra information that you need to see if it's suitable for you. But we've been, we've been so excited about yeah. people booking. People booking and just... Yeah. Starting to think about all the things we could. That's what we, you know, we like we've said we want to have just tables with lots of wool and buttons and fabric. Yeah. To make things so, you know, why not sit and make yourself something yeah, exactly. like that? Or and that'll all be free. Um, as we've said, once you've paid your money, that's everything. You'd, um, apart from if you wanted to purchase wool, uh, but any drinks, extras, any extras that we want to do, like all the crafting things, yeah. they'll all be free. Yes, they um, will. So we're really looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, it seems such a long way away, September. It does. But it really isn't. No, it's not. not long at all, it's is not. it? And, and I think that's some of the people that have booked. I think they've thought, yeah. well, let's, we need to get yeah. it. So as we say on the website, it will say that the ground floor rooms have sold out. Yeah. Um, but we will be putting them on. I'll get some more information and we'll put them on and explain to you exactly how many stairs you need to go up. Down. Obviously, we've still got rooms on the other floor. Yeah. Um, and just, it's, that's only if stairs are an issue. If stairs yeah. are not an not issue, it, it yeah, makes no odds. Um, nothing else we needed to clarify on. No, obviously menus. We'll be talking about menus near the time yeah. once we get all your everyone's dietary forms in. Thank you for the forms that have come back. Yep. Yeah. Um, so once we've done that, we can then um, yeah we'll be discussing with yeah. the um, staff and Sean about um, about putting a menu together yes, about the menus and what we're going to have. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm just about to sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse but me. Um, I will go wash my hands because I do know you have to wash your hands. I haven't got current virus, but and sing happy birthday twice when you wash your hands. I, I was going to say I did hear Jeremy Vine saying earlier. <sighs> the man winds me up, but he did say earlier. And when we say wash your hands, don't just put them under the water. No, you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to wash them like this. Like you're going into surgery. Up your arms. Up your arms. Brush. You don't need me to show it. I mean, fed up just, watching it on the television. It is just. I have got a bit of a cold. Don't stand in front of someone that's, yeah, coughing and spluttering in your face. That's got anywhere. Viruses. It's cold season. Exactly. Anyway. It's cold season. Yeah. Um, so yes, looking forward to it, and um, we, you know, there are rooms available. Come and join yeah. us. Yeah. Come Fab. and join. It will be fun. I've just looked in my bag. There were. I have knitted on something else. But there were stash busting again. Oh, the little Look baby hats. Look at these. Oh, they are cute, Dominique. So, little hats for little babies. Our friend Becky is a um, an ambassador. Ambassador. I was going to say patron. I knew that wasn't the word. For a charity called Baby's Basket here in Lincoln. Um, and they're always looking for hats, cardigans, blankets, anything. So, they're cute. I did them three at a time because... Why, why wouldn't not? you? Why not? Why not knit three at a time? So, Becky, they're oh, coming to you on Monday. Look at the weather. I know it is. It's Absolutely. flipping up. All I can see outside of Dominique's window is some poor daffodils that have decided Bobbing to come around. out. Bobbing around. I've had this for I don't know how long. Look at that book. And Is that a stationary geek? It is a stationary I geek. I like that. I've had it for such a long time. So the other day, in. when I finished my tech editor course and got all my pens out, I thought, oh, colour this in. So this That's is now nice going to be my podcast book. Oh, podcast Because it's been too nice. I've not wanted to use it. And then I think, well, that's silly. So that let's use silly. it. So let's have a look what I've written down. Oh. So 
Oh, this is an itinerary of what we need to I do. Mean, this is very this good. Is a, these are our show notes, people. <laughs> so, uh, Cal's, I've already mentioned the Stash Bust in 2020 on Ravelry well done. Um, in our group. Don't forget there's the Wald Crochet Cowl. Yes. Because quite a few of you have got patterns. Some of you have got the yarn as yeah. well. Marion, she's already finished that. Yeah. Um, so... Share is on. There are still some available on site, on, on site, online um, if you want to um, buy the kits, but if not, the pattern's there. Both colourways. So, Marion, I don't think you've... Has she shared hers? I can't Marion remember, has shared it, yes, because I shared it with Wendy. No, but uh, and our world crochet cowl, cowl. If not, share it in there. Retreat, baby hats, done. Emma um, Bridgewater plates. Oh, speaking of Ravelry... You don't know this, but I did it the other day. I've set up another thread in Ravelry. Ask us anything. <laughs> because we've we will at some point in the future do a bit of a live yes, we will. podcast. Um but also we keep getting different questions. So I've just put a thread on yeah. there. We're not we will answer most things. Yeah. We will answer most things. And so, if we won't answer it, we'll tell you why we're not gonna answer I, it. Exactly. So I've just started a thread. So Good. That's there for anyone to do. Patterns. I've got a couple of patterns I just wanted to share. Patterns. Not ours, but I saw this and I just thought it was a really nice idea. So oh, I was watching nice. Ali of Little Drops of Wonderful um, and she suffers... That's a podcast. That's a podcast. Um, she suffers... And she speaks openly about anxiety and she said she'd not been feeling very well and she's found this. It's called Just Feel Better Shawl. And it's a crocheted oh, shawl. And that's nice. it's by Kalisha Ryan and she's quirky Monday Crafts. She's got a podcast. Uh, and she's just put we all have those days when we just need a great big hug. Am I right? This Do shawl you? is not this is on the pattern. Oh, want, to me. Do, do I want a hug? You want a hug? No, I don't. I have days when I need something and a hug is not what it is. <laughs> so, if I need a hug, I can't ask Dominic for a hug. I have to get my hugs elsewhere. It's not very good. <laughs> this shawl is meant to provide a relaxing retreat for everyday stress. It features super simple granny cluster designs, very minimal counting. Because of its simplicity, it will not comp uh, compete with anything else you decide to do in your relaxing self-care time. That's a really and I nice just idea. thought... It was a, you know, we can all do with a little bit of me So you time. are giving a virtual hug there to people. That is a virtual hug. It's a free download. I'll give you a real hug. I just don't, I'm not very good with touching. Um, I just thought. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't wind you up. It's not nice. It's a free download. And I just thought. That's a really nice idea. What a really nice idea. Nice idea. Um, so perfect. And then. Oh, you have been busy. Only bit, yeah, I just have you had like more days in the no, week. No, I'm not or even something. going to show that one because you're doing hats. I get that hats. one. Are you having? Have you like found more days in a no. week or something? Have you like my no, but uh, turn time back? I watch podcasts when I'm in the bath or when I'm in bed mainly. So that's when I do that. And then the other thing, it's Lent. What have you given up for Lent? What do I always give up for Lent? I know what you've given up. You've given up nothing, haven't I you? I don't do it. However. I did see, I think, it, I can't remember, on some social media, instead of giving something up, you give something yes. up that you don't need. So actually, I think I'm going to do that. And then what you do is you donate it to yes, charity. Yes, I've seen that. So I'm going to do that because I do need to sort of declutter things. So um, I need, I'm, I'm going to do that. So that's like, is that daily then? You do or yeah. just... Yeah, you do it daily in a bag and you keep yes. it. However, I'm now down... What three days? Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I'm that. So I saw that because I never give anything up for Lent. Although I, if I was going to give something up for Lent, I would give up something that I don't like because then I don't have to give it up. Did you have pancakes? I did have pancakes. I made pancakes. I came in. Where was I out on Tuesday? You'd been to Birmingham. I'd been to Birmingham. Thank you very much. I'd driven back with a really bad head, which wasn't good. Um, and then I got all tense and then I felt dreadful. So I had a migraine. And, um, but I came home and I thought, I'm having pancakes. I'm having pancakes. So I literally came in, dumped my bags. I'd been to the co-op and got myself some um, lemons because I didn't have any lemon juice. And while I was trying to like look 
out of one eye like this and feel sorry for myself. I was making pancakes and just eating them and then I took some tablets and went to bed. I'm pleased you had pancakes. Did you not have any? I did, yeah. Oh, I had sake. some on Sunday. Got to make some pancakes. I had some on Sunday just as a... Why don't we have them any other time? I well, love I pancakes. Do. I, I love got a to pancake. Say, I, go, I go through phases, but I do have what them. What did you have on yours? Orange and sugar. Oh, Freshly had, squeezed orange. I had lemon juice and golden syrup. <gasps> now, you see, we were having this discussion at work. Some people have lemon and sugar. Some people just have golden syrup. Lemon and someone and was having Nutella. I mean, I'm a nut free house anyway, so lemon do I and golden. I love lemon, it, well, it's the sugar, but not the not the crustiness of the sugar. Oh yeah, that's nice. Getting a bit of crunch. So golden syrup, lemon, <gasps> rolled up. Um, 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 um. So I had those and then took myself off to bed, feeling sorry for myself. So what do you all give up? Does anyone? Does anybody else give up? Yes. Yeah. If if you're not, um, would anybody like to join me in the um, giving away forty things? Yeah, um, I just, it was just... So what are you giving up? You haven't said. I give up the same as I do every year, sweets, crisps and, and chocolate. And you do, don't you? Yeah, I do. You're really good. And I've really, really thought about it this Did year. Did you have a because, merge before? Yeah. So on tu on Monday night, because it was pancake day on Tuesday night, on Monday night I had crisp sandwiches for tea. <laughs> because Not you would. super noodle sandwiches. No, crisps, roast beef monster munch sandwiches. <laughs> And then I on, keep saying you are like a small child yeah, but who, who's allowed to eat whatever she wants, so you do. And d last <laughs> night, I had mashed potatoes, peas, carrots, gravy. I had like a proper grown-up meal. Proper <laughs> grown-up But meal. when you're giving something up that you... I eat. So you went mad in it. Yeah. Monster Munch. And then on oh, Tuesday at work, Munch. I got a, a bar of dairy milk. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one with the popping candy and the jellies in it. Oh. Marvellous or something. Why would you ruin chocolate by having popping candy in it? That's just gross. But I have really had to think about it this year because I've got three weekends away. You have, you're away this weekend. We're away for a 50th birthday party next weekend. And then we're away for my birthday. Yeah. I, and I know I would normally eat, but... But you you are really good. You see, if that was yeah. me, and I'd be going, right, I'm going to give up chocolate for that, I'd go, oh, it's only a chocolate biscuit. Who will know? I'll just well, eat it. Well, I don't particularly. Chocolate biscuits don't bother me. I would allow myself a chocolate biscuit. Because that's but not you chocolate. Really, you really wouldn't. You wouldn't eat no. sweets or anything. You no. would be really like, I'm not having it. Well done. But I do eat crisps and sweets daily. You started getting your eater eggs yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I had an Easter egg as well. Um, because I love Easter eggs. You race. like Easter eggs, don't you? I do. I just look at Easter eggs and a waste. Buttons Easter A pound. You get well, a bag of buttons they're, 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 and an egg. There's not much chocolate in it. Oh, I know. But, blah, 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 blah. And I don't like the chocolate in Easter so, eggs. I like chocolate chocolates. I've got two in the car to take to mum and dad. Um, you see, Dominic I, normally gives them to me to keep at my house because I wouldn't well, eat them. But No, the reason Mr. I'm Hammond not giving would, them... Would find them and eat them. The reason they're not going to you, I might be 44, but I still get Easter egg from my mum and dad. There you go. Um, but the Buttons Easter eggs, the, the ones that are like that size, the medium ones, they only have, like now, you try and yeah. get them in March, you can't. That reminds me, because I, um, I probably mentioned my daughter's got a um, nut and peanut allergy, and um, I need to order grits, because I found at Christmas a company called, if anybody else has got um, allergies, they also do gluten and dairy-free, um, Coco, Coco Libra, C-O-C-O-A Libra, L-I-B-R-E. Ah. And um, I ordered quite a lot for Grace for Christmas because she loves chocolate and struggles sometimes to get nice chocolate. She said it was really nice, so I've noticed that you they do. You get some buttons ones, they're in the shop now. Yeah, but these, they do really nice, like little, have a look on the website, yeah. they're really nice. So you see, I'm just a simple girl because all I want is a buttons Easter yeah. egg. Don't like fancy. Even as a kid, I never, I didn't like Easter eggs. I wasn't bothered by them at all. But for the last, I don't know how many years, we have an argument. Mum, we always because they go. Well, we couldn't find any. That you've got like one that's this size. So I've bought them, and I'm going to give them to them and say, "There you go. There are my Easter eggs. You owe me two pound." I'll buy you an Easter egg. No, so that's um, they will. They'll be the Easter yeah. eggs I have. 
Um, but the bottom ones, the, the medium size, you can only get them now. As you get to close to it, they don't do them for some reason. They do every Because they have them out at Christmas, that's why. Yeah, but any other... Whatever. Whatever. What, 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 what? So if you wanted a Malteser one or yeah. a... You can get them in any size. And I'd like bottom. to just say about Malteser. I did this once. Grace likes Maltesers. Maltesers, a lot of Maltesers are fine for people who suffer with nut yep. allergies. At Easter, they decide usually to shove nuts in the um in the Maltesers. Maltesers, yeah, because they use they put those little bunnies in and they have oh. nuts in. So oh, I, yeah. I once bought her an egg and no. luckily realised before because I just thought Maltesers. I know she can have them. yes, yeah. No, they're, they're the hoppy bunnies, aren't they? We don't need we don't need fancy things like that. So yeah, I did at the weekend have an Easter egg. So you've given up sweets and chocolates, sweets, for chocolate and crisps and crisps. Yeah, I mean, since Christmas, all I have done is eat and eat rubbish. Like, yeah, my hair won't well. grow and my nails keep snapping. And Your I, hair won't grow? No, I went to the hairdresser the other day, she went, oh, I was expecting it a lot longer. I thought the other day your hair had grown. It, I, but nothing like it does. And all my nails keep snapping and I keep thinking, I think it's because yeah, I've not looked I've, after myself for the last I've, few months. I've been eating rubbish. I need so, to get a grip. That's why, even though I'm away for three weekends, I am going to... I'm still, I'm still doing Lent. Just get drunk. Well, I do swap. I mean, I'm not a cakey person at all, but I will swap. And eat cake instead. Uh, like a bank frisk for a nice finger. <laughs> well, it's I mean, like, not a cake. You're giving it up. Yeah. Well done. Not a Victoria sponge cake, but a nice finger. So I will be donating 40 things to charity. That is good. That, yeah. That's very good. I need to get a box all sorted. and. Yeah, that is everything. a good idea. I, I'm not... Particularly, well, not particularly, I'm not religious, but it's just something I do. Yeah, I know I you, always, just like to, you always challenge yourself. Yeah. I'm mean, good at that. I'm not really... You have a lot of willpower, you see. I have the willpower well, of a gnat. I only have the wim willpower for very short periods of time. I'm very good at procrastinating and then making up so many excuses yeah, well, why I, do I can't do something. a lot of the time. It's Which is why I think I make myself do Lent, because it's 40... Days of the year, 40 days out of 365. 40 days and 40 nights. That my body doesn't get That's sweets, good. crisps, and chocolate. Yeah. The but only time I eat sweets, if I'm honest, is when we go on road trips. Yeah. I never really, I would never sit and think I'm going to eat some sweets. I think I get into habit. I go to the cop on the way home from work to get tea. Oh, I'll get a bag of sweets. But we get in here. the car and say we're going somewhere. I buy sweets. It's your fault. I'm blaming you. Blame Probably you. is my fault. But you don't eat them though necessarily, do you? But I'll only be way through my midget gems. I do if there's if the, if the they're non 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 boils. <laughs> yeah, I do if I'm not going to choke on them. <laughs> don't kill yourself. But yeah, so oh, I can't do that on my road trip on tomorrow. No, you're on your own. Nobody, but I can't have sweets. No, but I would no, know. No, don't me. I would know. That's really good. So anyway, that was that's all the things I've um, got written down. Why haven't we got snow? I don't know. I love snow. Mum and Dad had it yesterday. I love snow. They only live 20-odd miles away. And why haven't we had... Has your dad had any? Dad's had some, but it disappeared. It, it, he had snow one day, and then by lunchtime it had gone. We've well, had no snow. I was really excited it was saying Lincoln was going to get snow the other day. Did we get any? I didn't even see a flake where I live. I was not happy. No. I like the snow. Can we have snow for when we go away? I mean, that's... Mum and Dad obviously woke up and okay. first thing they do is... Well, I woke me. up and I was like, oh, it's snow. Oh, no, it hasn't. I don't particularly like snow and having to go, you know, somewhere where you've got to go and drive in it. Oh, no. I don't mind driving in it. But I like snow. Yeah. I like looking out and it being snowy. Well, it's normally... It's snow for my birthday when we're away. It will oh, do. Perfect. It will do last year, didn't it? Last year or the year? No, the no, year before. The year before when we went to West No, last State. year the sun was out. Yeah. It it was because it was my fiftieth, wasn't it? Yeah. We went away to Wales. Yeah, we were in Wales, and it was South beautiful. Wales, and however, the year before, um, me and Dominique went to Stairs. Yes, I really like Stairs, and we said in this little cottage, it was absolutely flipping freezing, and it was when the really horrendous weather. We didn't think we were going to get there. Did well, the we? road between me and you was closed yeah. until that morning. We yeah. were setting off, and we just went. Oh, let's try. What if we don't get over the North Yorkshire Moors? What will really happen to us? We got there. Well, I'm not joking. We left Lincolnshire thinking it was going to get worse. But, well, by the time we'd got to North East Lincolnshire, 
The snow had hard. It was, yeah. But then we got, got to stairs, didn't we? And it was a and bit. And there was some snow. Yeah, there was there. quite a bit of snow. And it was freezing. Oh, that was so <gasps> cold. It was cold. Yeah. But as my nanny used to say, it was so cold I thought I'd died in the middle of the night. Oh, it's suddenly gone cold again now. It has. It's, it's like 20, 20 well, why can't, 22 degrees. I'm sick of seeing rain and I feel yeah. so bad for all those people who blooming houses must flood. It must be horrific. And snow. Our, snow. We border in Lincolnshire, we border lots of counties, but one of them's Nottinghamshire and just the River Trent is the border. I don't, have you seen some of the um, aerial footage around the River Trent? Not far over the border. I mean, well, it's just water as far as you can see. Well, coming see. back from Birmingham on Tuesday, when you come to Newark Roundabout, you know where the year was <laughs> uh, junction is. Part of that was closed. They got the road closed because it had all flooded over into the I mean, that, you know, there was no houses directly there, but I was quite surprised to see it that far. Yeah. That far in, it was really badly yeah. flooded. I mean, Shropshire still... It's horrendous. It must be absolutely yeah. heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, luckily, where I live, I'm not really near water, and you're not really, although your village does get a bit flooded. Yeah, but, but it, nothing... It's not like you're near a river. No, it's it? not. It's not a river's going to... No. It's just... But we're on clay, and it won't go anywhere. Yeah. But... Right, well, just I think we've ran, now. we haven't really made you laugh as much this week, have we? No. I mean, I could try and put a baby hat on my head if that would help. <laughs> that's not going to help. I've got more chance, haven't no, that I? is the smallest, that's, that's the, biggest the biggest one. I mean, it won't even go, oh, maybe. It looks I mean, like a little prayer hat for me. Like, why do babies get nice things? I want that. Well, why don't you knit yourself one? Because that's the... There's like one stitch there at the top in they blue. They are very cute little hats. So sorry we haven't yeah. made you laugh out loud this week. Been a bit oh. subdued. Maybe my twitchy head will have gone by next week. Or the week after. Or the week after. See, I don't even know where I'm at. But more importantly, we're going in the shed later. We're going to have a nice lunch of jacket potatoes, our favourite stable food. Yes. Jacket potatoes, cheese and beans. Yes. For our lunch. Keep and warm then, on this horrible day. And then we're going to go in the shed. Put the radio on and we will play. do a little bit of footage that yeah. we'll share on social yeah, media. We, will. we if, might even take the we could take the tripod in. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we'll take you with yeah. us. We'll take you with us. Come along. Come along and see what's happening. Right. I won't have my comedy white trousers on today though. I've got my other comedy trousers. They're here, you left them. They here. are here, but I've got these on today. Oh, right, okay. Only because every time I was moving, I was just like shh, 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 shh. Let me go and get them. This will oh, this will this will make you laugh just for the last few minutes. Talk talk to the wonderful people. Talk to, just entertain everybody. Ow, ow. Well, this is because we've had to... Well, we've got a bit of a uniform, although we're, it's not the same. But now we've got the shed and we're going to be doing more. We want to be warm. But, Marie, I, I mean, I think it's like a three-year-old that you've... Given them a glass of water and you think everything's fine and then you turn around and actually they've tipped it over the head. I don't know how she gets herself so wet. So she's well, had to get... I've got, I've got to say, I have, put a to get, I have put a little bit of weight on recently, which I'm hacked off with myself for. But, I mean, these, me and Dominique... The could, salopettes! Me and Dominique could fit in these together. I mean, look, at, they are salopettes. They are... They, but they're, they're a little to prove. They're dungaree salopettes. Look, they're already filthy. I mean, because they were a little bit long. Maybe because I didn't pull my braces up long enough. I was going to say, I think you'd not got your braces up. But it was because I was swishing as I was walking. So I was like, it was annoying me. But they are so warm, so waterproof. So Marie always gets cold and she always gets wet. And she probably gets cold because she gets wet. Whereas, yeah, so I'm never cold. I'm, I'm, I'm going oh. in. I, mean, I, I look, look like the Michelin putting them on, man. But I have no idea how she's going to show them to you. I look like the Michelin man when I put them on. I mean, look how dirty they are. But how do you get yourself so wet? I don't know. I'm a small child. You're a small child with your food and I'm a small child with... <laughs> I mean, look. Oh, you can just see. I mean, oh, no. oh, you can't go just... back. I mean, they are absolutely humongously massive. But better I look, that than they'd be too tight. I mean, look at the state of them. I look like the Michelin Man. They need taking up, don't they? Well, you're all right with your boots on. No, I'm not, because the, the knee's rolling up. But, but listen, this is the noise. 
So we just put the radio on louder. We just put the radio on louder and you can never tell. But you either rustle or you get wet. Exactly. It's one or the other. So Exactly. Well, on that note, I've not got any comedy wet trousers like that. No, but we both have comedy boots. Yeah, we do. Yeah. They are going to be so warm and dry. I don't care what I look like if I'm warm and dry. I don't care. Well, I'm who's going to see us? Well, I wouldn't care if anybody did well, see me. As my husband often like, says, do you not care? No. no. If I'm warm and dry, I don't care. Right. Right. Now, you've been everybody, subjected to that. Yeah. Everybody, look after yourselves. Keep yes. dry. Keep warm. Keep and knitting. Keep crocheting. Enjoy Lent. Enjoy Lent. Bye. Bye. Bye.